Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to get this little uh, toolbox on the top. So it's really cool about this tweak is that you can go over Cydia. This is from the Big Boss repo, which is the default repo on your phone. So when you automatically jailbreak, you will have the Big Boss. You want to go to search on the bottom and it search out flesh lits without any spaces, as you can see right here. And then you have this little icon. So you see, um, you have this right here. So basically made for like more for developers and people who create anything iOS related, like mod menus or whatever. It tells you like the inspection and the, of the UIs and they see like the coding part and it tells you like everything that's like in uh, an application or whatever. So I did actually just, um, I did go into this, it actually did crash, but once you guys install the tweak, you guys can go to your settings and then you want to scroll down to your tweak section. You can see right there, flush list, tap on it and you tap on it, you can basically put it on from the springboard. Um, so, and also you tap on like your apps right here, you installed and then um, you have your stock apps and your apps that you um, downloaded from Cydia right here so your jailbreak apps and then your stock app so you turn it on for anything you want uh, for springboard is a little annoying because it keeps popping up if you do tap on close just you can go into something go back out and you can see it comes back up or you can just basically double tap the home button and go back into it let me tap back on the home screen so we're actually going to turn off for the home for the springboard and the taste effects the you don't have to respring taste effects right away which is pretty cool so i have one for the uncover app okay so we actually um i'm just going to turn on really quickly from the springboard you see um you tap on select and then you get to select and then you want to make sure like it's obviously around like you know how it's over your screen you want to move it because then like it will mess up like you know it's based on your screen resolution for each um, device you do it on you tap on view and it basically brings like a whole log of everything like for that for like this is, like the code and this is like everything like they um basically did for this home screen also on the top left just gonna press that for snapshots it did crash my device right before and it did i have to record the whole thing again so i'm not going to do that uh, for this for the home screen but i'm gonna do that for an app to show you also you tap on yeah there's nothing right here you just can move it up and down that's really it you can't minimize or anything it just goes up and down and it tells you depending on where you tap oh yeah, you tap on a menu too and you have a lot of it a lot of different things shortcuts religious and you, you know just tap on something and then you must enable okay so you see the bunch of stuff you have so it's really cool we tap on close you know settings tap on off Go to the app you have it on, which we have it on for uncover, and now pop up. Tap on skip, and there we go. So we tap on select. We select on whatever one we want. Like this is basically, what we're selecting is everything that they added to it. So we're gonna move this down. Wait. So you see, they added every single thing individually. So it's really cool. I'm not gonna lie. Like you kind of like gives you a clue on how to like code. So when people code, you know, like every single thing they add is is individual. Like, this is an image. This is a setting, this is something else, this is something, this is something, 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 everything is something. It's not just you just create it automatically, you get to add every part of it in. So like this is a code for something else, like this, you know, and this obviously is conflicted with the process, that's how it works. We also can move, you can move the screen resolution, which I don't really recommend doing. But then we also can go over to like views, and we have everything, so on the top left, we actually create a 3D snapshot, which I'm not going to do, I don't want to crash my device, but you tap on that, and it creates the whole um, snapshot, so views at top, I guess it's top and bottom, you have the UI window, tap on it, <laughs> it basically just highlights everything, so it highlights what it's actually covering, so we go to um, menu, um, I mean not menu, we go to views, and it crash, it does crash a lot, so there's only thing bad about it, it does crash a lot. It's annoying, um, but it's really, really cool. Um, so if you guys are interested in coding, learning some stuff, this is actually a great tweet just to look at for each like application or tweak to see how it was made, see how everything was basically compacted in the tweak or application or game you're looking into. And then you can basically, you know, learn up some coding. I do have some apps. I actually should probably make a video on that, um, how to get, you know, I have some good apps for coding, how to learn it. And, you know, you can create the, create games and apps and, you know, coders are really good, um, you know, it's a great skill to have. Really good. A lot of companies like the skill and want the skill. Also, if you, you know, for college, if you're really interested in coding, it's difficult. But I do recommend taking, like, a class for cybersecurity, like coding classes. And they can help you a lot. So, basic coding classes, you know, you, you learn a lot. So, you guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next one. Peace.